prize winner will receive a trip for two, including airfare, 30 nights hotel stay, and two tickets to Super Bowl 51. Official rules. And to go enter, go to SiriusXM.com slash Super Bowl before uh, January 26th. Open only to those with Sirius XM since before December 20th, 2016. No purchase necessary. The NFL entities, uh, as defined in the official rules, have not offered or sponsored this week's take in any way. We're joined by Ensign Anyway in studio. He's co-hosting today's show. We're taking calls at 866-522-2846. And a quick note, in, uh, in the second hour, we'll be talking to Ron Crock from Access TV. We'll be talking about LFA1, which takes place tonight. The new era has begun as Legacy Fighting Championships and Resurrection Fighting Alliance have joined, have merged, and this will be their first shows. Their first show, excuse me. All right, so uh, Danny's telling me we have a call all the way from the land of the rising sun, so let's bring him on. Junkie Hotline. Hello? Hello. Hey, guys. Um, my name is Jeremy. I'm calling in from Japan. I live in Yokohama, Japan. Um, I've met Ensign a couple times. I had the pleasure of shaking the man's hand. Um, I wanted to ask him a, a quick question, if he could tell us a little bit about his volunteer work that he does in Fukushima. Thanks. Thank you, Jeremy, for the call. What's up, Jeremy? Um, yeah, I, I go on. I call them missions. Um, since the um, tsunami slash earthquake well, slash nuclear disaster happened over five years ago in Japan, I've been on 47 missions up north, bringing supplies, going into the radiation zone, and certain missions. Um, it's a. It's it's probably going to be a, a ever happening. Uh, thing because the people are probably never going to get back on their feet like they used to be. Um, my next one is uh, January um, 28th. I go up north. I visit a temporary housing that houses families that lost everything. Um, visiting an old folks home and visiting an orphanage with 88 children. So, yeah, it's ongoing for me forever. You're up to 47 now, 47, huh? man. Wow. Yeah, so it's on and counting, man. <laughs> Almost gonna hit fifty. Is it, do you still have to wear the suit when you go with others? No, only, I know sometimes you forego the suit. Only three times I went into the zone. Yeah, the first time I didn't really understand it, so I didn't wear a suit. But the last two times I did. But um, other than that, I'm around the area, I'm not in the zone, but around the area because the people have been displaced into temporary housings and pe um outside of the zone where the radiation isn't as high. So yeah, just. Letting these people, I mean, suicide was a big problem. Mm -hmm. So we're just letting these people know that they're not forgotten, you know. I mean, nothing we can give or do can get them back on their feet. But, you know, bring make, making life easier for them, bringing them supplies, letting them know that they haven't been forgotten. That's pretty much what we're doing. Do you still do with uh, the animals as well? Um, no, the animals are all, we couldn't, the last time we went in about three years ago, we couldn't find any animals. No more? Yeah, they're either dead or hiding or they've been taken out. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, more for the people now. Yeah, so the 28th I go as out you, and for another one. Has your team grown yet, uh, Anson? How many people go with you? You know, now that, you, now that you're on your 47th mission, uh, have you added others that go with you and has it, that, that gotten bigger? It's all random, man. Uh, you know, I mean, sometimes there's like 12, 15 people. Sometimes it's just me and my girlfriend. So it depends when I go, who's available, who had, can take off work, who's in town at that time. Some people flying. I, I got my ukulele instructor, Trey. He's flying in from uh, Hawaii to play music for them. So that's going to be awesome. Music does wonders for people. So Are you getting better at the uh, ukulele? Uh, <laughs> I'm getting better because I was really bad when I started. Yeah. So I am getting better. <laughs> you bring one next time. Will you play us a tune? <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. By then, uh, I'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> Ensign, others in Japan haven't, because haven't, I know that you got a lot of press from this, and so I would have thought maybe others would have wanted to join the conference. No, actually, I didn't get much press from this yet, because I had, didn't oh, you didn't? publicize it on the media. Only thing I did was I, I posted on Facebook and stuff, only because there are people that, you know, everyone who purchases a bracelet from me um, helps me. It's not a char. It's not a charitable co co company, but it's money that comes to me, and what I decide to do with the money is, 
go up north and help the people. So basically, in a very roundabout way, the, everyone who purchases a bracelet is a part of the mission. And it's hard to explain to people the smiles and the, the warm happiness you get in your heart when you see you helping these people. And I feel like it's so unfair that I get to do that and the people who purchase bracelets don't get to see that. And then when I first started, I had a hard time taking pictures because it, for me, it felt like it wasn't as genuine if I'm taking pictures and trying to, you know, data and put it on data. But then I realized that I would have to do that for the people who help out with these missions. I mean, with buy bracelets, they have to see what they're doing. I like them to see what they're creating. So I started doing that. And, you know, that's the only, that's the only thing I've done with with the missions going into the media is just on my Facebook and my accounts, that's it. I've never, it's not known in Japan. I haven't been featured on anything in Japan. Yeah. That's, well, I know the MMA deal. websites definitely covered it, but I, I, I thought, I guess I assumed that maybe people in Japan would have as well. Um, no, not really, yeah. Jeremy, are you still with us? From, uh, I certainly am. Yeah. Okay, did you have a, uh, anything else that you wanted to add or any other questions? Uh, yes, I wanted to ask just one more question. I wanted to ask him, um, how can we help if we want to help with your missions in, in the north? Um, for, um, follow me on Facebook. And if there's a time that I'm going up that you're free, you're welcome to join me on it. If you're not able, I've actually um, finally, I haven't put it out yet that much, but I have a, it's called the Ensign Inouye Foundation. It's ensignoefoundation.org, and it's a it's a nonprofit organization that if you donate there, all the money is used for the missions. Thank you so much for what you do for us, sir. I appreciate it. We're not, Jeremy. Thank you, Jeremy. Thanks for calling in. Good night.